Hey everyone, April Dunham here. It's February, so you know what that means. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So hopefully guys, you're prepared and you already know the reservations you're going to make and the flowers and all that. Um, but what I like to do during the holidays is send out e-cards to my family and friends. So I issued this personal challenge to myself. I wanted to see if I could create a power app that will enable me to create an e-card and email those out to my friends and family. So let's take a look at the app itself and then we'll break it down and show you how it's built. This is the Power Apps eCard Generator app. My inspiration for this app are those little Valentine's Day heart candies that you might remember from grade school that you see. So they're cute little candies and they have different messages on them like Be Mine or XOXO. I actually read a story that these were going away, they wouldn't be available this year. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could have an e-card that I can send out that's the heart like the candy and I can customize the message with something like Be Mine or XOXO and send that out to my friends and family. Um, the beauty of this particular solution is, you know, in this case, I'm using a Valentine's Day theme for the e-cards, but this can apply to any holiday or birthday or whatever the occasion may be. So let's just walk through the app itself and see how that works. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, if you've ever sent out an e-card, you'll know that you can customize your message and it shows you a live preview of what your card's going to look like before you send it. So that's what I have here on the right hand side. I have this heart image and as I select a message from this drop down that I've pre-populated some canned messages like if I got I got you babe it overlays that text on top of the heart so that's what my e-card is going to look like so as I change these different messages it updates in the preview for me so once I have the uh, message that I want to send all I have to do is say who do I want to send this to and who do you want to say that it's from? So for example, if you want to be secretive, you can put your secret admirer. And as soon as I press send, this is going to send out the Valentine. It's going to give me a confirmation that it was sent successfully that I can close out of and hide that dialog box. And as we can see here, here's my message, subject, happy Valentine's Day. If I drag this over, there in the body of my email is the heart with the message overlaid and from your secret admirer. So as you can see, there's only one screen, the Valentine screen, and really just a kind of a handful of controls here. Um, on the right hand side, this is our little preview control. So all I did here is I went out to the internet, found an image of a heart that I liked. I clicked on the view tab and media and I uploaded that here to my media gallery. Then back in my app, I went to insert, media, and image, and I inserted an image control. So that's what you see here, this heart image control. And I set the image property to that image that I uploaded. Then um, I uploaded a, inserted a heart label um, and I set the value of this label to the selected value of the dropdown over here. So that's how that's working. As I change the selected dropdown, it's changing on the heart. So I just overlaid that label on top of my image and I grouped that. So how am I getting those messages populated in the dropdown? Well, that's here on my screen in the on visible property. All I did was do a clear collect, um, created a collection called messages, and I put in um, hard-coded some values there. And so as I start the app, these values are being hard-coded, and I set the, on my drop down here, the items property to that collection. Then I just have two uh, text boxes, one for the who to send to and one for from. And I have a clear button, so if I'm you know, doing this and I mess up, I can just clear out all these different inputs just using a reset function on each. I have the send button, which is where most of the magic is happening here. So if I expand this out, I'm just using the native send email functionality of Power Apps. First thing you define, who should the email go to? That's going to be my inputs of the email to input text. What should the subject be? 
Um, if I wanted to, I could add another text input box here and let the user specify the subject, but I just hard coded it in here to Happy Valentine's Day. And then I'm doing the body. For the body, I actually have something hidden in the background that you're not seeing in the app, and that's a blob of HTML text that I'm defining. And then the important thing is to make sure you have is HTML set to true so that gets um, formatted in your email correctly because the default for this is false. So if you had that selected, then it would just look like a giant block of, um, you know, div HTML text. And it wouldn't show like the pretty heart and everything that we're trying to get here. Let's look at this HTML box. What I did is I went to insert and text and I inserted an HTML text control. That is right here, this HTML text. As you can see, I have it hidden because I don't need it to show on the screen because I have my preview. I just need it to show, um, to be there so I can pass that into the body of my send email. If I set that visible to on, you can see um, that the heart shows up now. And if I look and expand out the HTML text here, all I did was create some HTML for the div. I'm passing in the image. And I have another div and I'm using some CSS so that the text here is overlaying on the image. So it's just a matter of if you know HTML at all, making sure that your parent div where your image is has a, a relative position. And then the div that you want to overlay it, have an absolute position and then define your positioning. I want to make it kind of overlay in the middle. So I'm saying top 50% and then left 50%. So that kind of middle aligns the text over the heart for me. And, and then here, this is where I'm passing in the actual message. So I just have some ampersands um, in there and I'm getting the message drop down selected value. And then after that, I have another div where I'm saying who's it from. So I have from, and then I'm passing in the from text input. So a really simple piece of HTML, and we're passing that in so that our email message goes out with the proper formatting. As I said, this is really customizable. So maybe if I were sending out a you know birthday e-cards, I would change this image to um, a picture of a present or something, and then I would change my messages. I can customize this however I'd like. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Happy Valentine's Day.